So this is the area behind my desk. And it doesn't say feng shui. See? It doesn't say feng shui. So I'm about to put all this in a little container because it's making my nerves bad now. <laughs> this I'm going to put away. I thought I was going to do something with it. But it hasn't come to me yet. This this stand thing. It hasn't come to me yet. And these are books you're supposed to read, but we don't have enough books for a class set. So I'll be on the lookout for the outside. So let's see how it looks when it's all done. And I'll get something that's a little more appealing to the eye. The eyes are Okay. Um, this is my headphones the subscriber got me. And I'll get something that's a little more appealing to the eye. Nobody but for myself, but put a little plant. And I think that's a little better. Yeah, it was it was making my nerves bad. So that's what we have. I think that's a little better. This is saying a little, a little feng shui, a little feng, feng shui. Okay, all right. I think I can work with this. All right, all right. Yeah, much better. That it was noisy before. I need a little, a little more flow. Okay. So today I have I run on the floor. I'm not sure how long this will last. It says, our greatest weakness is in giving up. Don't be a quitter. Keep trying. Come on in. Come on in. And see, I was telling, I was telling you guys how I wrote on the, on the ground outside. I wrote on the ground. I wrote on the floor. Then I have it outside my door. This is my little wall. So I drew that or wrote it and then I had the kids color it in. So then on my door today, I have If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. I had to put this blanket on top of the sofa and then I could wash it too. I had to put this here because somebody was riding on this sofa and then I noticed today they ripped it even more. So it just gets so frustrating how the kids don't respect the things in this classroom or the nice things that you try to provide. Do you write on your stuff at home? Write on your mama's furniture. Tear up your stuff. And it just baffles, it just baffles me how they are so willing to destroy things. It's just crazy, even when they had a TikTok challenge, destroying schools, destroying their property, Erasing the information off the computers makes no sense how destructive kids can be. <sighs> Gotta get my attitude right, y'all. Gotta get my attitude right. So, and then that's a good idea anyway. Then I could wash it um, every week. So that's a good idea and spray it down. So I have fabric spray. So. I really need to order the things for the bike, the pedals for the bike. Um, there's always a kid on a bike, they like it. There's one section I think I wanna get rid of because I find that on the other bike, cause it slants, they wanna have their phone out and I can't really see what's on the desk. So I'm thinking about making that a little cocktail area, getting rid of that. Um, but when somebody sits there, they're trying to be slick. That's what they're doing. You're not slick, I know. So hopefully today will be a great, great day because in my mind, I'm saying it's gonna be a great, great day. Friday, I'm gonna be a smart cookie. 
So it's um, book character day, so you can dress up as a book character. So I'm gonna be a big cookie for all my smart cookies in the classroom. And the kids will be testing Thursday and Friday. So I'm hoping to really have a good time reviewing with the students today, going over the expectations again. And that's an ongoing thing. And they're gonna get a lecture about respecting your things and which goes against our social contract. For sure. So I was thinking about, I saw another guy do it. Someone sent me a video of another teacher and he was so adorable. He, I think he had fourth graders. Fourth grade is a little more eager to learn in third grade, I think. And he was like a pastor. It was like preaching in the class. And he was like 18 divided by six and this a factor of this. And the kids would repeat after him. It was so cute. But my voice, if I strain my voice too much, I'll start coughing. So, I'll see how it goes. So I'm going to email my doctor today. I'll send her a message through the portal and like this cough is not going away at all. And at nighttime, it's terrible. So the steroids, it worked temporarily. It was like I put in a Band-Aid. But she did say the residual effects of COVID can last a long time. But the coughing is just so annoying. I've been coughing for seven months now. And I know what she's probably gonna say. Well, you now you need to see a specialist. Those specialists cost a lot of money. Uh, it's just terrible how we have to make these choices between cost and medical care. Do you go, do you not go, do you just suffer? It's just terrible. So anyway. All right, guys, let me get out of here. I love you, and have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye, y'all.